Hi guys, welcome back to Snakes and Adders Reptile Quiz number two. We did used to call it the Young Reptile Keepers Quiz, but it became quite apparent that mums and dads couldn't resist having a go as well. It's designed to be simple, it is designed for kids, it's to keep them entertained and try and keep them learning. We're all going through challenging times at the moment, what with coronavirus and they're off school. So a couple of times a week we'll try and come up with little fun quizzes to do. Uh, the idea being we could ask anything uh, involved in a hobby really it doesn't matter whether it's reptiles amphibians or arachnids it could be something to do with their care or husbandry or where they're from so we try and encourage the kids to maybe do some reading or do some research and have a think and, and learn about as reptiles and amphibians and arachnids as best as they can to try and best hedge their bets in getting a good score on the quiz it's just for fun it's not competitive at all, despite what your mum and dad tell you. We don't want it to be competitive, we just want it to be fun. So, without further ado, we will crack straight on. Question 1. What type of lizard has varieties called green, rhinoceros, desert and spiny tail? Question 1. What type of lizard has varieties called green, rhinoceros, desert and spiny tail? Question two. Name four types of live food commonly sold in reptile shops. And you will need to name all four to get your point. Question two again. Name four types of live food commonly sold in reptile shops. And you need to be able to name four to get your point. <clears throat> oh, tricky one, number three. Are you ready? What does an old video game have in common with the Argentine horned frog? Question three again. What does an old video game have in common with the Argentine horned frog? It's a sneaky one, that one. The mums and dads will get it, I think. Try looking at their answers. See if you can see it. Question four. Name two of the three British snakes. There are three species that live in England. Well, in Great Britain, sorry. Um, and if you can name all three, we'll even give you a bonus point. But to get that one point, you need to be able to name two. Name two of the British snakes. And a bonus point if you can get all three. Question five. Which long insect has lots of legs and a very painful bite? Question five, which insect has lots of legs and a very painful bite? Question six, what tea is a vivarium known as in Europe? What T is a vivarium known as in Europe. That's a tricky one as well. I'm testing you, you see. You'll be able to Google and find out later after the quiz. Question seven. What country do corn snakes come from? And I do want the country, not the continent. 
what country the corn snakes come from. Question eight. Which snake has the longest fangs? You might have seen it on one of your nature programs. Steve Irwin or one of these other programs that you see on TV. Question eight. Which snake has the longest fangs? Question nine. Which insect has powerful front arms and eats other insects? Question nine. Which insect has powerful front arms and eats other insects? What country does the Amazon tree boa come from that gives credit for its name? What country does the Amazon tree boa come from? And it's credited in its name. What pet changes to fluorescent, bright green, blue or white under a black light? What pet changes to fluorescent, bright green, blue or white under a black light? What is the longest venomous snake in the world? Question 12. What is the longest venomous snake in the world? Question 13. How do alligator snapping turtles attract their dinner? Question 13. How do alligator snapping turtles attract their dinner? Question 14. What A is a huge crocodilian that comes from the Everglades in Mississippi. <clears throat> what A is a huge crocodilian that comes from the Everglades and Mississippi? And last question, question 15. How did the Toke Gecko get its name? Question 15. How did the Toke Gecko get its name? Right, let's go back through these. Are you ready? These are your answers. What type of lizard has varieties called green, rhinoceros, desert and spiny tail? The answer, an iguana. Green iguana, rhinoceros iguana, desert iguana, and spiny tailed iguana. Iguanas or iguanidae is a massive family. It includes things like the basilisks. So far, far bigger than you think. But these are all the true iguana. 
they are called iguanas rather than called basilisks and other things. Question two. Name four types of live food commonly sold in reptile shops. Well, let's work through them. Locusts, brown crickets, black crickets, mini mealworm, regular mealworm, super giant mealworm, or morio worms, which you can have as well. Wax worms, pachnoda beetle grubs, dubia cockroaches. Some people might even sell silkworms or calci worms. And some people sell banded crickets as well. So if you've got any of those four, then you can give yourself a point. Oh, the tricky one. Question three. What does an old video game have in common with the Argentine horned frog? Pac-Man. In the hobby, a lot of people call Argentine horned frogs Pac-Man frogs because they're Roughly the shape of a ball with a great big mouth at one side. So it's a bit of a nickname, but it caught on and a lot of people refer to them as Pac-Man frogs. Question four. Name two of the three British snakes. So your option are grass snake, common adder or adder, and the smooth snake. We have a very limited choice in the UK and all three are protected. One of them is venomous in the adder and you've got to be careful. Make sure that you uh, don't disturb them and you leave them alone. But they are, you know, they're, they're all pretty in their own, own right and definitely worth having a Google to look them up. Because I bet some of you didn't realise that we had snakes living in the UK just normally. Grass snake, adder and smooth snake. Bonus point. If you get all three. Which long insect has lots of legs and a very painful bite? A centipede. Such as these. They're called scolopendras. And they've got an incredibly painful bite. And uh, many people have got a lot of respect for them for that reason. But a lot of times people will get millipedes and centipedes mixed up. Millipedes are vegetarian and li live in leaf litter and soil. Centipedes are predators and they've got a very painful bite. Question six. What tea is a vivarium known as in Europe? Terrarium. We all call things different stuff depending on where you are in the world. And Europeans tend to know what we would understand as a viv or vivarium in the UK, a terrarium. Question seven. What country do corn snakes come from? The answer, the United States of America. Not North America, which is the continent. So the United States of America. Or USA. Or US. I'll accept them all. Question 8. Mr P asked this one. Which snake has the longest fangs? The answer. The Gaboon Viper. Brilliant camouflage. If it was laid on dead leaves. You'd just have no chance. You wouldn't be able to see it at all. It's one of absolutely stunning they got these wonderful weird horns on the ends of their nose as well. And massive heads. And their teeth are quoted as being nearly two inches long on exceptionally large adults. So the answer, the Gaboon Viper. Google it. Look at the teeth. You won't believe it. Question nine. Which insect has powerful front arms and eats other insects? The answer... Praying mantis. Or we'll accept mantis. Or mantid. Mantid, mantis, praying mantis. You all get a point. Question 10. What country does the Amazon tree boa come from? And is acknowledged in the name. Brazil. In Brazil is the Amazon rainforest. 
So the answer is Brazil. But in truth, the Amazon tree boa also comes from some countries just north of Brazil. It comes from Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana. But if it's called an Amazon tree boa, that's an acknowledgement that it comes from the Amazon rainforest, which is predominantly in Brazil. Question 11. What pet changes to fluorescent, bright green, blue or whitish light under a black light? A scorpion. They react to the black lights, which is something that we used to have in old discos and nightclubs when we were kids. And if you walked in, it'd make your teeth or your, my beard, for example, shine bright blue. Or this white snakes and adders viper head would pop. And it seems to happen to the scorpions. And even though in normal light they're jet black, you shine that bluish black light over them and they pop bright white. But you've got to turn the lights off in the room to be able to see it. Absolutely amazing. Long term though, it doesn't do them any good. But if you go to places like the Sea Life Centre, sometimes they'll have this trick set up to show you them. So the answer is scorpion. Question 12. What is the longest venomous snake in the world? The answer king cobra absolutely huge and actually they will also eat giant pythons burmese pythons and uh, reticulated pythons as part of their natural diet these are big snakes so maybe four five meters long and they can stand easily as tall as me or taller with their hood out incredibly impressive there are a few places around the uk that actually keep them as pets on display absolutely amazing although they're braver than me i'm not sure that i would want to so the longest venomous snake in the world the king cobra question 13 how do alligator snapping turtles attract their dinner they sit with their mouth wide open and overall their their head is either dark brown or black and most of their tongue is as well but what they've got is a tiny little appendage that looks like a worm and they can twitch it and make it wiggle. And the fishes that are in the water, they find this interesting. Oh, look at that little grub. I'll just go and have a look at that. And then just as they get close enough, bang, the turtle grabs them. So they have a law, a wiggly little worm inside their mouth. Question 14. What A is a huge crocodilian that comes from the Everglades and Mississippi? The answer, alligator. Alligators are a type of crocodile or crocodilian and they're from the same family. But sometimes people don't associate them as being crocodilians. So the answer is alligator. The Mississippi alligator, which occurs all through the southeast of the USA. Question 15. How did the Toke gecko get its name? Because at night, the geckos can call and sound off. And it roughly sounds like toke, 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 but very, very loud and high pitched. And this is how they got the name toke. Other geckos that vocalise, some people call chit chats. That didn't quite catch on as much with those smaller geckos. But the tokes are pretty famous. This is an absolutely gorgeous gecko but with a very grumpy temperament and to be able to get a tame one takes hours and hours of handling it and working with it we used to breed them at snakes and adders we had calicos and powder blues and nearly all of ours were universally grumpy but to look at their pictures they're absolutely fabulous and they are their latin name interestingly is gecko gecko so yes how did the toke get its name it's call it's voice Toke, toke at night. Add up your scores. Let us know how you do. Remember, it's not a competition. It's just for fun. These are scary trying times and we're all trying to find things to do to keep ourselves entertained. So if you're enjoying doing it, let us know and we'll keep them coming and we'll do more. All the best, guys. Me and Mr. P and Ashley at Snakes and Adders. We love you loads. Stay safe. See you later.